Hi guys, good morning. Uh, welcome to QA Crunch. This is Roshan Zamir. Uh, today's topic uh, we are going to see is uh, how to fetch the values from a web table using web driver. Web driver in a web table, if you take uh, uh, web table is nothing but it's a format of table uh, which is uh, it stores a value in it as a rows and columns format uh, as like uh, you could see in Excel. Okay, in the same way uh, we'll be having the tables in a web page. Okay, that is called as a web table. If you see uh, most of the most of the pages will be having web table, but uh, right now I don't get any uh, any websites which has a web table. So I'm just having I'm going to create I have created a table okay by using the HTML basic HTML let me open that code here this is the code I have written for uh, creating a table this is a simple uh, HTML code uh, which uh, has the uh, table as a tag name here okay and uh, under the table we should have uh, the name of the table okay so name here the name is I have given as a sample book uh, for each table uh, we should be having a heading right so that heading should be given as a here okay I have given uh, four headings a uh, book name author uh, subject and price next is uh, for each under each heading we will be having rows and columns so how the structure will be is uh, it will be like for each row there will be columns okay TR specifies the rows and TD specifies the column okay so here if you see TR under this TR I have steady Kumar selenium 300 okay these are the column values okay then nothing but the cells okay you can you can sell is uh, tell us a cells and another third row is this is one okay this is the third row and fourth row fifth and number six is the last one okay all right so once done just save this file as a dot html format okay uh, i have my, this code in my website you can uh, just copy paste in your uh, uh, system and you can uh, just change that format to dot html extension right so once done you can see like this format so right click this and open with google chrome okay any browser you can have any browser i'm going with the google chrome okay so here you could see this is the table format which I specified. Mm, this is the book name, author, subject, price. These are the uh, headings and these are the values. Okay. So study selenium is a value for this for the first row. Okay. Kumar and selenium 300. Right. This is a web table, sample web table I have created. Uh, right. And uh, I need to uh, do some operations here. Okay. So what I am going to do is I am going to show us example how to uh, take uh, any uh, what to say uh, just what are the column names here okay I am going to show you the example like uh, what are the columns specified I mean uh, columns here and what is a topic topic in it okay I want to get as a column number one two three four I need to get the count of the column as a four and what are the headings of this book name author subject and price so this is my task today okay i will show as a how to uh, fetch these values okay and also in my site uh, one more example i have given like uh, how to uh, get the number of rows and also uh, the row which has the selenium as a subject should display it okay that uh, uh that our uh, name book name should be displayed okay that example has stored in my website you can have a go through and you can just uh, take that code and you can uh, do some uh, exercises okay right now let me show you the how to uh, do this operation okay as as like uh, we are using other web elements like any other uh, text box or any anything links will be uh, using the dom to fetch the uh, properties of the elements right as the same way for uh, tables also we need to do that operation because the cell name want to know uh, what's the name of the table and what we need to uh, uh, what are the actions we need to perform okay so just buy this and okay just click this you can see here this is a table name okay sample book table okay just do this expand okay you can see here each each row so right? one two three four five six seven okay so uh, this is nothing but a code which we have written in the HTML okay that that that's the one we are seeing here 
okay so i want to take this uh, table name and i want to get this heading right so what i can do is i can write this xpath for this so this is the tag name of table so i can write table okay and at what is the name for the steering attribute is that you can take this any attribute i am taking this as a name attribute okay so name is equal to quotes it just give this sample okay now it has by the your table okay i want to get the heading of the table right so i can give this is a t body okay body of the table and i can get uh, the so this is the row right so this is the first row it's showing right the first row i need to get that heading so slash th okay so you can get this heading okay right so this is how we can spy that elements okay if you want to take any other uh, uh, if you, you, you can see here a uh, number of uh, um, elements showing is one of seven right so the thing is it has seven rows so one two three four five six seven okay so if you want to fetch the any this six values or uh, six rows you can just neglect this one okay we don't need the topic of this okay so this is a td t sorry i mean tr okay specifies the number of rows you can see here td means it uh, specifies the first column see steady selenium so this has four columns and six uh, rows so 6 into 4 24 so you can see here one of 24 so it, uh, it uh, uh, proves that it has 24 cells in it okay right so i need to take this code for heading okay copy this and go to the eclipse and i already have here the set of code for this okay right here as usual uh, you'll be you need to uh, open the browser but in, in this example as uh, i don't have the web table in any of the websites which i'm having so i'm going to call the url which i'm having in my uh, in my uh, browser so while you are opening the uh, html uh, html that uh, file okay uh, while you are do opening by using right click and going to chrome you will be saying this url in the top of the in the url section okay just copy that and place in this driver.get so we are going to open this table in a browser so that i need to perform this operation okay right so next one is to do this operation we need some set of uh, things called uh, collections okay so collections is nothing but a, that is a framework okay uh, it is used it is already uh, in place uh, which is defined by java uh, to uh, to handle it okay we have a lot of collections uh, like array list set um, mapping okay hash map hash table lot of things okay we will be seeing separately in the collections uh, uh, videos i will be uploading later okay so meanwhile just i'll show you what i have done so in this list what did happens is this list will be having it stores your Set of values and you can uh, use this list to retrieve or you can traverse or you can manipulate the data so that is the purpose of collections so here i'm using the list interface to perform that operation okay so i need to give this what kind of data type is this okay i am uh, using this web element so i can give here as a web element this is a, <coughs> a variable i'm going to store this uh, columns count okay so i'm just giving a calls count you can give any name here so i going to give this xpath for this so driver dot find elements by dot xpath this is the xpath we copied from the browser right so here i got it okay so i'm just copying that and just paste it here so this what happens is it will be getting the four values see one of four is that four heading we are having right one one of four you can see here in the bottom of it okay so it will be having four values in it so i'm just sys outing it system out, out, out print line so number of columns is it will be getting the, the size dot size 
method will uh, give me the output as the what is the number of the column so i will be getting number of columns as 4 and then i need to print this so to do that i am just using the for each loop you can even use the normal loop okay uh, or else you can use this for each loop i am here i am using for each loop so what we can do is i am getting this as a web element okay so web element i am defining some variable to hold this value i need to iterate this so the for the first time it will be coming into for one okay first time it will be coming and let's is sorting this calls in this calls what will be having now we will be having this book name so, okay path dot get text get text is a method to print the text of this property okay so that will, this will be giving me the book name here this is the text right book name okay for second column uh, second heading i can get author okay so here the second one gives me the author third one gives me the subject and the last one gives me the price so this how this how the iteration happens and at last uh, the it comes to the end fourth it will be checking for the next element we the condition will be failing right so it will be getting as the we get a error sorry not error uh, the execution gets terminated okay so that just let me run this okay you can see this opens the browser so this time uh, the url will be hit uh, to the um, to the web table which we have okay so see here the web table which is uh, we have we have created here and we can see here output is number of columns is four and book name is uh, these are the headings of this table all right so this how uh, we are handling the web table and uh, if you see here i have uh, another set of code for this uh, see here this is to display the book name which is equal to selenium okay so here uh, i have specified here the uh, tr uh, you can see as a tr of i okay somewhat uh, the syntax looks something for uh, different for you the reason is i need to iterate each row right so i need to have this dynamically changing this rows so in the for loop i am giving the value as i is equal to 2 i less than rows the reason for i2 is i don't want the heading so i am giving as a 2 i don't want to iterate from heading so starting from a 2 so first time it will be giving in the in the place of i okay it will pass the value as 2 so it will be going to the second row and it will be checking that whether the selenium book is present in the third column okay in the third column so that I have given as a TDS3 okay it gives the third column so it will checks and if it checks uh, that selenium so it will be uh, giving me the book name so what is the corresponding book name for this steady selenium okay so next it will be coming for the next iteration okay so next iteration will be coming and now I is 3 okay so now the third row will be fetched and it will be checking this okay so java javascript will be keep on coming here so again it will be coming to this particular row and it will be giving me the master in science book right so this how we will be printing this and you can have any any kind of operations even you can have uh, uh, you can get uh, prizes which has the book price more than 500 i want to print it means you can have this as a td this a uh, column as a specific to one two three four fourth column okay so here you can have as a four td as a four and you can have a if condition as uh, this book price okay so book price is greater than 500 you can have it okay right so this how uh, we can uh, handle the web tables right so web table is uh, mainly is this is uh, used in uh, main, uh, many many of the websites okay all right so hope uh, you guys uh, got an uh, idea on uh, how to handle this uh, web table and how to fetch the values uh, from it and how to iterate the rows and uh, how to get the different values from the different cells all right okay if you like Okay, uh, this video just uh, subscribe it and also please refer to your friends. And if you have any comments, uh, please leave a uh, comment. Uh, any clarification, either clarification, please leave comments, and I will uh, reply to that. Okay, thank you for watching the video. Thank you. Bye.